Hello, it's Sir Stillwater. Let's see, next I'm going to talk about in my Great Building Collection series <laughs> is going to be the Notre Dame, or Notre Dame. Uh, let's see, this is a, I don't remember what the footprint size is. I want to say a, maybe a 4x6. Uh, let's see, it provides a couple things, happiness and some supplies. And this is a high middle age building. So let's go ahead and take a look. You notice mine's only a level five. These high middle age buildings kind of fall into that range where they're really not contributing what I would want to continue to grow at that point in the game or beyond. So they're kind of sitting here on this kind of middle ground of the five and six or six and seven range. I've got a lot of buildings kind of in this middle eras that are like that. Um, and I'll explain why in just a second here. So let me jump on over. Let's take a look at what we have. Again, this is from the uh, forgeofempires.fandom.com uh, wiki and the Notre Dame. The Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris was the pinnacle of architecture. Well, it still is. They're working on rebuilding it with no equals in Western Europe. Its grandeur and perfection uh, inspired all craftsmen who looked up in it. it looked up. Well, looked upon it. Excuse me. Um, that'd be cool. It looks beautiful. I've never, never been there. It looks really incredible. Um, let's see. Construction costs is high middle age. It's kind of expensive. Look at this. Um, 220 brick, 180 rope, 110 salt, 140 dried herbs, and 100 glass. For that era when you're working on building and expanding and doing all types of other stuff, um, seems pretty pricey as far as a lot of materials for getting gaining some happiness and supply so i don't remember the details but that may be the kind of the blend of uh the happiness they may be more of a happiness play than a supply production play uh four by six yeah that's correct so that's what i thought and let's see how quickly it pays and what it pays right so at level one you're getting a 1100 happiness with a 46 to Per square efficiency, um, and then you're only getting a 1,380 supplies, which by high middle ages, that's not much, especially when you start looking at some of the other um, great buildings that are giving supply boosts on supply production. You can really be cranking some supplies um, repetitively throughout the day uh, to say that this real estate's going to be worth 1,380 supplies a day uh, with no boost on it. So, I mind you, it, it picks up from there, but um, you're making some pretty big commitments of forge points at that point to get up there. So, let's say you want to take it up to a level five. I mean, you get what, 470, 600, 670, but um, 720, 720 FPs to get up to the point. But just kind of looking at the, the cost to get there. But um, yeah, so that's the thought there. It's one of those buildings that I'm surprised I have it. Cause it's, I thought I thought for certain it was one of the ones I had sitting in the wings waiting to be built later. But apparently I do have it. Um, it's kind of hiding back over here next to my uh, FOD. So, but but again, it's only at level five. I've got it unlocked to level 17. I could probably go even higher than that. Let's see. Um, I can go one more level higher as so I can go to level 18, which I'm in no rush to unlock anymore. So that's it. That's the Notre Dame. Uh, questions, comments, suggestions, leave them below. Uh, it's pretty cool. One of these days I'll rearrange and I'll put all these cathedrals in a row and make like the, the, the row of churches and cathedrals. That'd be neat. But that's it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Um,